you know, obviously you live the kind of life where you have made a footprint on the world. What kind of footprint has the world made on you? Hmm. I live in a life where... Oh, hold on. Let, let's just start again. Okay. You don't just, yeah, closer. Right. I just want to make sure because I, I don't have headphones on, so yeah. Okay. Okay, what kind of footprint has the world made on you? How has it changed you? The footprint that the world has made on me has changed the way that I consider crafting art. I used to think about things and design them in my head, sketches. I've thrown out sketches. I think much more is about process. Paintings become much more than objects to be seen on a wall. They're actually stories in plastic form. They become places and smells and familiar people rather than images. Perhaps those images in some way point to things, but in the end, travel has created a series of reference points that I come to and return to, and they're constantly changing. The way that I look at an object is affected by the environment around me. Travel has destroyed the picture and created the story. I love it. I'm going to do one more. Um, I, I'm not in love with the light I had, so okay. no, no, no. It's, don't, worry, don't, don't worry about the mic. Um, okay. Just trying to, yeah, this light is a little bit better, and I think we'll use both of these, but okay, first of all, I want to ask you to show me the jacket. <laughs> I'm going to show you don't have to sit for it, but just, just, you're wearing this incredible jacket that says a lot about you. Can you show me the inside lining? Sure, you can see the inside of my jacket is sourced basically from designs in North Africa, models from Mumbai, fabric from Senegal, fabricated here in Beijing. So, all of my travels in one object. It's amazing. What do you love about Beijing? I love the sense of constant change. I love the sense in which artists are constantly arriving at its shores. Beijing is the capital of art in China. And I came here with one idea in mind, what it would be like. And it bears no relationship to that original thing. Beijing is, in many ways, a type of cooker for me, where I try out new ideas, far away from American eyes or familiar sensibilities. It's a place where chance is possible, where you go out into the world and you see and do things, and then you sit down and you stare at it and you say, you know, what does this mean to me? And how can this possibly mean something to the rest of the world? So just give me your name, which I know, I mean, but just give me your name and how you'd like to be identified in the piece. My name is Kehinde Wiley, and I'm an artist. 